This news conference that we've been listening into uh, so with I Seattle Mayor Jenny Durkin, I Governor Jay Inslee, and a number of leaders, uh, Andre Taylor now officers. speaking now. And I went up to those police officers and I said, I want to commend you and I want to thank you for not over-exaggerating and giving these young people a space to heal because of one of their com comrades had fallen. And I appreciate your patience and that you guys didn't escalate anything. And I just want to personally tell you that I appreciate you. So I got back in my car and I came back to where all the celebration was going on. And as I was driving back to the celebration, um, I had my mask on. A young fella said, wait a minute, wasn't you over there talking to the police? I said, yeah, that was me. He said, F the police. Why was you over there talking to the police? I said, well, I went over to talk to the police to make sure you were safe and make sure nothing got out of hand. He said, F the police. I said, I understand how you feel. And then it clicked in him. Here. He knew my voice. He said, oh, uncle. They call me uncle. I didn't know that was you. I didn't know that was you. I said, yeah, it's me. So he, he wanted to give me the, you know, the embrace by hitting the, the shoulders. And uh, he took me over to all the other ones, his inner circle. And the youngsters was coming up to me saying, we appreciate you fighting for us, uncle. And they were celebrating because they were watching. So when incidences like this happen, when we have these professionals come on, they turn off the TV. And I wanna make sure that they're not turning off the TV right now because I need to relate to them and talk to them because they're in pain, not only here, but all over this country. I wanna let them know that you do not have to be defined by your past, that you can overcome anything that you have done because I sit here before you, a man that did it myself. And as often as I can, I tell my story of redemption because I don't want to be in a place that I can empower a young person that's in some of the same situations that I was in and he has no hope because he feels the city don't care for him. He feels the state and nobody cares for him. And I want him to be able to see me in himself, to give him hope, to give them hope that I too can overcome whatever errors or mistake that I have made. That's my message today. My message yesterday was to the country, was to the city, and was to the, to the state. My message today is for that demographic who Trump calls thugs, who I call family, to let them know you have somebody on your side fighting for you. Amongst these powerful people in these powerful positions, I am here, and when I am here, you are here as well. Don't turn off your TV. Stay engaged, because we all have a lot of work to do. Thank you.